Hello, 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 everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Whatever time this message greets you. First, let's start off with a word of prayer, and then I'm going to go get straight into this prophetic dream about kingdom spouse that the Lord is giving me. Father, we just thank you, O oh Lord. Father, we just love on you right now, Father. And we just give homage to your name, Father. We glorify your name, O oh God. We praise your name. Father, there is none like you, nowhere, no how, Lord. And we just say thank you. If we can say nothing else, Father, we say thank you for everything you've done, everything you're doing, everything you're about to do, Father God. And I just ask, Father God, that you anoint my lips, O oh God, to uh, speak your word, O oh God, how you want it to be received, O oh God, by whoever it is, Father God, that needs to hear this word right now, Lord. And I just thank you for using me, O oh Lord. Have your way, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys. So last night I had a dream. I woke up in the middle of the night. And in the dream, it started off. Me and my kingdom spouse were in a car. We were in a car. And he was asking me... Um, questions like if I wanted to do something, if I wanted to go somewhere. So I had said, yeah, I wanted to do this. And then I wanted to go see a movie. And then I wanted to go out to eat. And he had his money in his hand. Um, but you could tell that he was like, how much, uh, looking at how much he had in his hand. Like he didn't want me to know that he was looking at how much he had in his hand. He had it in his hand and wanted me to know that he had it, but he didn't want me to feel like money was an issue. But at the same time, he was like, man, okay, well, how much um, do it cost for a movie for both of us? And in a dream, I said, it's $20 for the both of us. And he was like, are you sure? And I was like, I'm sure. So then um, in the dream, it took us to a park. We went to a park. And in the park, um, we were walking and we walked over to close up on this pond-like thing. But there was one area where there was a dip going into the pond. And I was like, oh, no, we don't need to go right that way. So we went the other way. And um, then we went to go sit over on like it was like some bleacher type some cement bleachers we went and sat over there and there was like some kind of show going on we sat there for a couple minutes and then he um as we were getting up to go he grabbed my hand we locked hands and um i stood up he helped me up and um he looked at my dress and he was like see i like stuff like that i like little dresses like that um and i looked down at my my dress and my shoes i had on like some a dress and some gym shoes <laughs> um and so we walked uh he walked bef like at, he walked before me and um, we were on our way to the car getting ready to go. And someone stopped me and they were trying to sell melons. But I looked at the fruit and the fruit was not fresh. And I was like, no, nah, we okay. I'm okay. <laughs> and so we ended up um, back at this hotel. No, no, no. It wasn't a hotel. It was just a room. And um, we were in this room, and the room was kind of small. And um, so when we got in the room, I ended up getting on top of my kingdom spouse. Like, um, yeah. <laughs> and then he looked at me, and he stopped, and he kind of like was like, please wait with me. Please, please wait with me. And then as I was coming up out of the dream, the song uh, Tanisha Kelly uh, started playing I Wish You Love Me. Uh, it's an older song, but I'll get into that um, 
at the end of the video. So what the Lord was saying to me as I woke up and I wrote the dream down at the beginning, my kingdom spouse was, um, we were in the car and he had money in his hand and, um, he wanted to take me out places. He wanted to do things for me and um, of that sort. But a lot of the kingdom spouses that are coming out of darkness, if this word is for you, you will know. Take it back to the Lord because um, the word just serves as confirmation. Um, a lot of the kingdom spouses, especially those coming out of darkness, they're learning responsibility on multiple levels, not just in a relationship aspect. So, um, and a lot of people, not just them, but this is specifically for them, but a lot of people right now are still learning to manage money. And that's one of the things that God is working with our God ordained spouses on managing money and manning up to be, um, you know, the man, whatever it is that God is showing them how to be responsible in reference to themselves, in reference to us, in reference to just building, the building mindset. And so he wanted to show me that he could do something for me, but at the same time, he was looking at his money in his hand and he was still kind of like, are you sure? Okay, well, how much is this? And um, I tried to also stay modest, like, oh, it's $20. And so, um, when these unions come together, the Lord is saying, be gracious. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy because they're going to want to try and show you that they can do it. They can care for you. They can take care of you. They can get you nice things and stuff like that. But when someone is just now getting to a place of building, freshly building, they cannot um, successfully build and um, shower you. So let them do what they can, but also keep in mind that they're just now learning a lot of different responsibilities on a lot of different levels. So don't overwhelm them. Don't, you know, even even try to find some things that's like free. We ended up going to a park. And so we went to the park. We end up not even going to the movies. We end up not even going to eat. Um, we end up going to the park and we were looking at the pond or whatever. And there was a uh, dip over by the pond. There was like a slope or a dip that was like, if we walk over here, we're going to walk into the water. So that part, the Lord was just showing me there's going to be obstacles that they are going to um, listen to your opinion. So, you know, um, you're by you being the standard in the relationship. Um, your advice, they know you've been standing with the Lord a little bit longer than they have. Um, even though they're, a lot of them are prodigals, um, you know, they know that you've been standing. They know that you've been praying and you've been fasting and that you're in communication with the Lord. So they are going to really appreciate and value your advice. And the Lord is saying, don't take advantage of that. Help them along the way so that, you know what I'm saying? This is not just me get what I want. And now, you know, that I know that, you know, that I'm your wife um, to take advantage of, you know, this is two coming together so that we serve the Lord's purpose. We serve our kingdom assignment. And there's going to be a time where, yeah, they get in position and they're going to be strengthened and stronger than the Lord. It's going to be some areas where you're stronger. It's going to be some areas where they're stronger, but there is going to be a nice chunk of areas where, because they're just now coming out of darkness, that you are going to be looked up to and looked forward to, to for instruction, for guidance, and they're going to want to hear your opinion and, and, and what you hear from the Lord. And they're going to want to, so they're going to really value that. 
So don't take advantage of that. Really, when when you when they ask your opinion, really seek God on what to do on how to lead them. Because yeah, they are the men and they are going to step up. But right now, you are the beacon of light for them. So let God use you. Let God have His way with you right now, while He is um, bringing them to a place where they can depend more on on Him. So after we went to the park and um, we were sitting on those uh, cement bleachers, it was like a little show or whatever was going on. And we ended up getting up and um, he locked hands with me. That was my favorite part. <laughs> yeah, that was my favorite part. <laughs> he locked hands with me. And... Um, he locked hands with me and I stood up and he was telling me he liked my dress and see, I like stuff like that. Um, there's going to be a lot of admiration. There's going to be a lot of, you know, um, compliments. There's going to be a lot of embracing and the Lord is just saying love on that. Also compliment them and you know what I'm saying? And, and, and even when they do little things, when they do little things, um, really show appreciation for the little things you know really show that you heard that little thing that you see that they are um appreciating you and valuing you and valuing that you know whatever it was they took that extra little time to just even acknowledge your shoes or your dress or you know just make sure you're being very gracious and saying thank you even though that you know, there's a lot that happened, especially if you've been a standard. It's okay. You know, we fought for this and we're, we weren't fighting against our kingdom spouses. We were fighting against the kingdom of darkness. So we must understand that throughout this process, they are being made new creatures. So allow them to even exercise in their newness that God is coating them with, that God is cloaking them with, because it's new to them. You know, even you, uh, the type of person you were in their life was so new to them. They never seen nothing like that. That's why you stood out so much. That's why God called you to stand in the gap. That's why God called you to fast and pray and do all these different things so that they can be saved, so that they can see him in a living walking talking breathing example okay so the next part was um we went down he he went before me and we was going towards the car and um i saw the guy with the melons and and the fruit he was selling fruit but the fruit was not no good Okay, there's going to be a lot of people, a lot of situations, a lot of things that are not going to be bearing fruit. And the Lord is going to expose, reveal, and show us, okay, these things that are not fruitful for our relationship, not fruitful for our destiny, not fruitful for nothing connected to us. The Lord wants us to decline. It's not the season for being nice. You know what I'm saying? It's not the season for letting everybody in. It's not the season for... This is a private season. This is a private season we're walking into with the Lord, with our kingdom spouses. This is not about mom and daddy, sister, brother. This is not about pleasing anybody else. Because if, you know what I'm saying, a, a regular me, the regular me, if somebody was selling some fruit, you know, on the street, I would buy the fruit. But I looked at the fruit and the fruit was not no good. So I didn't even want to receive that fruit. Girl, I was looking at that fruit like, mm mm. So there is so many things in this season that is not going to be fruitful. Do not take it on. There's going to be so many people that are not going to be fruitful for this season. Do not take it on. Do not pick them up right now. Going into this season with your kingdom spouse, the Lord is restoration is here okay restoration is here do not allow unfruitful people places and things and activities to come in because this is such a delicate time this is such a delicate process right now the lord is moving so strategically that you have to be 100 percent okay obedient observant you have to be listening and you have to have to have to have to 
have to, have to be aligned with the Holy Spirit in this season right now, okay? So, um, the next part was me and my kingdom spouse, um, after we got to, um, this room, I never seen this room before, uh, it didn't look like a hotel room. It looked like a, a, a bedroom. But um, he was sitting on the bed and uh, he actually looked like he was preparing to play his game or something like that. But he was, um, I ended up going over and getting on top of him. And he slowed me down and he was like, please wait with me. Please. And in this part, you know, um, see, all of us are adults. We're adults. And the word of God does say, flee sexual sin, flee temptation. Don't put yourself in, in, in certain situations, you know, but as we're us being adults and us wanting to spend time with our kingdom spouse, we, you know what I'm saying? Don't tempt them. Don't tempt them. Do your best not to tempt them. And even um, do your best not to even get into situations like that. Do your best not to be in a bedroom setting because sometimes it's hard to fight those uh, fleshly desires in a intimate environment. You know, so, um, but it's almost unreal you know what the lord want us to know is he understands that it's almost unreal for us to now we could go out on dates and stuff like that but as things progress you know there's going to be situations where you might end up in their house they might end up in your house you know what i'm saying as things get more serious you might end up um spending time and they they, they playing the game and you in the bedroom with them and as this connection grow, grows stronger, the Lord wants us to know that do your very best to fight temptation. My kingdom spouse was like, please wait with me, please. They don't want to mess this up. And we've been standing and we've been fighting for so long. We've been praying so hard. We've been fasting. We don't want to mess this up. Don't allow your flesh, and this goes for me too, don't allow your flesh to forfeit everything that we didn't work for. Everything that God wants us to have, the promise is here already. It's so close. Like we are already walking into this promised land, okay? So God is just instructing us. He's instructing us on how he wants things to go everybody's story is going to be different but in reference to that last part is very important because another thing is um those um god ordained spouses that are coming back and those god ordained spouses that you know are learning responsibility and stuff like that um you know we can do the free things outside and you know what i'm saying those that um aren't um in the position to shower and, and and you know what i'm saying just at this moment because it's god's portion that we uh be wealthy and that we ascend and we elevate but there's gonna be some times where you might want to spend time with your god ordained spouse you're gonna want to spend time with them they're gonna want to spend time with you and they may not have the money to take you out so for them Spending time for us, spending time, we may end up in a situation where we're in the same house and we're in the same room before marriage. And it's very important that we know how to conduct ourselves still even in that place. When you know that you, and, and don't tempt yourself, don't tempt him, don't tempt yourself. But you, what, when you know that you are have conquered something, you can be face to face with your temptation and not give in. So we have been exercising our faith this entire time for 
this meetup for this joining together. And this is the biggest test that we are going to face. Okay? Standing was easy. Praying was easy. Praying was fast. Now the test is at the at the very end, that final push is where you come face to face and you have to put everything that God told you into action. Okay? The Lord gave me scripture. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtaining favor from the Lord. They know you their favor. They know you're their favor. And that's why they don't want to mess it up. He said, my, my God ordained spouse said, please wait with me. Please. I got on top of him. I was ready. Kill <laughs> me, Lord. But he know. God know. But, you know, um, it's going to be so worth the wait, y'all. When you wait. God gonna make sure, okay? You gonna get pregnant that night, honey. You been pregnant, okay? And um, another scripture the Lord gave me was Philemon 1, verse 15. For perhaps he therefore departed for a season that thou should have received him forever, okay? So they coming back. God is dealing with them right now. He's working with them right now. He is pruning them right now. He is loving on them right now so that they know exactly how to love on you. He's been talking to them, okay? So, in this last part of the video, um, the song. The part of the song the Lord wants me to highlight. The song is I Wish You Love Me by Tanisha Kelly. It's the older song. Um, How can someone make me so sad? But still I only want him to stay. I want to say I love you so bad. But I don't want to scare you away. Please. I wish that you'll understand that I want to be more than just your friend. And there's the part at the end. And it, that's us. That's us because we know that they, um, that we been standing and that we not going to leave them. But for them... They really don't want to mess it up because they've did things on their own for so long and have messed things up. They really don't want to mess it up. We don't want to mess it up because we the ones been doing a lot of work, uh, standing in the gap and praying and stuff like that. But they really don't want to mess this up, okay? But there is a part in the end where it says that, like, um, if you really love somebody, I mean really, 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 really love somebody, let me hear you say yeah. And then it says, if you really know you need him, and you know deep down you're never going to leave him. So that part, that part right there, they've did so much in their, in their lives, you know, while they were in darkness. They're used to people leaving them. So when they get you back, they're not going to want to do anything to jeopardize you leaving and making you leave. You know, they're going to want to try and cherish every moment, okay? They're going to want to try to do everything it is that God wants them to do so that this works. So stand with them. Stand with God. Stand for yourself. Stay in position. And pray. Be vigilant. Listen. Fast. Pray. Don't don't give up and quit right now. This ain't the time to give up and quit. This is the final push. Because we are already walking over into the promised land. And we got to get a little bit away from that line, y'all. <laughs> right now, going back, y'all. We there already, okay? So, God bless y'all. And I hope this message reaches whoever it is it needs to reach. And I'm praying for all of y'all, okay? God bless y'all. Have a wonderful night.